Okay, we've told you about Herman the Bookman, a local man who helps kids all over the world one book at a time. All right, but where does our county stand on literacy rates? Well, joining us with a little insight is Jose Cruz, the CEO of the San Diego Council on Literacy. Welcome to Prime Time. Thank you. Thank you, Taylor. What an incredible man. Uh, Herman the Bookman. You know him, right? I know him. I love him. Anybody who's met him loves him. And he works from love. He works from the heart. And he works hard. And we're talking physical work, picking up books, carrying them, bringing them, giving them out. It's a lot of work every day, unfailingly. Again, how old is he and how long has he been oh doing this? Oh my goodness, I don't know. He's never told me how old he is, but um, we go back to when he was doing this work out of his garage at his home. And I want to say it's been a good 15 years, if not longer. I'd have to think a little bit. He's so dedicated. Yeah. Reading yeah. is so important. Yes. And this wouldn't happen. It's all about people power mm -hmm. and the people he meets who come into his circle and who volunteer to do the work that they do. As he says, the mm -hmm. money goes to where it should go. So they're not getting paid. They're just trying yeah. to you find You can it. tell. Oh, yeah, you can tell. Yeah. And, and they're trying to find just a home for these books. And yeah. They're picking them up and they're getting, they're getting where they're needed. We, we're always frustrated by lack of resources. Books for children is so important. If we're going to make a difference in terms of literacy rates in our region. We need those books in those homes. Yeah. And we need the parents to have them. We need the teachers to have them, the tutors to have them. Yeah, I, especially in the, you know, some of the schools that they really, they don't have the parent participation yeah. that other districts have. You know, they, we need to stack those classrooms with books. Right. So what can we do to help? Well, we always talk about it starting with raising awareness and getting on people's radar, um, donating books to schools, um, to literacy programs, um, volunteering to help with, in a literacy program, being a tutor, reading to children, tutoring children, or tutoring adults. Yeah. Because it's just as important to teach an adult to read or help an adult improve their reading as it is to help a child. I love reading to my kids. It's yeah. my favorite bonding time. Um, let me ask you this. You have the latest uh, literacy rate uh, mm -hmm. statistics out. What are they? Well, we're using the 2010 census information and applying that to the 2003 National Assessment of Adult Literacy Skills. So here in San Diego County, we're looking at about 19 to 20 percent of the adult population being at the lowest level mm -hmm. of literacy. That's about a zero to fourth or fifth grade level. Right away, people think, well, that's a lot of folks who are here from another country and English is not their first language. In San Diego County, it's about 67 percent of those adults who are at the lowest level of literacy are native English speaking. They've gone to school here. And, and they might uh, have just a learning disability as well. Well, 16 percent of the yeah. adult population, regardless of social economics, has a learning disability. Like dyslexia. Like dyslexia. Yeah. yeah so. Yeah, it, I, I suffered from it from school and didn't you? read because it frustrated me and I thought mm -hmm. I was stupid. But getting help later in, in college unlocked my brain and yeah. I love to read and obviously I read for a living. There you go. <laughs> so uh, well, yeah. anything's possible. Yeah. It's just we got to, you know, get out and touch lives and help people. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. And like I said, part of it is is just knowing that mm -hmm. there are folks for whatever reason and, and nowhere on that list is people don't care, they're lazy, they're dumb. Actually, it's quite amazing what a lot of our, our students do despite them not having the literacy skills they need to function in this more complex society. I mean, the average job now requires two years of education beyond high school. Eighty years ago, you were considered literate if you could sign your name. We're in the age of information now right. and, and, and technology. So what we're asking of people is more, more in the way of skills. So it's harder. Yeah. So as uh, we, we could donate to Hor Herman's, uh, it, you know, his mm -hmm. love, yeah. right, his dream, so he can keep, you know, manifesting his dream and helping so many children. And get involved yeah work bet. at schools it's easy to be a volunteer all you need is a tv test a obviously you've got to yeah, be a, a person of good character yeah yeah but and read to kids that's right that and you know i hope it's not true i hope that this this um, the work that erwin herman does as the book man does not pass on with him mm -hmm. and i hope that that there is someone or a group that takes on uh, what he has done for so many of us. In, if, in if people wanted to donate money to him right now, Herman the Book Man, wh where would they go? How would they do that? Uh, look for, uh, I believe the website is thebookman.org or .com or okay. contact the San Diego Council on Literacy. We won't keep the money. We'll make sure he gets yeah, it. That's nice. uh, yeah, and so we're at uh, www.literacysandiego.org.
Hmm. And so that's... Uh, there it is. Yeah, there you got it. There it is. And you've got an event coming up? Yes, it's called Eat, Drink, Read, a hmm. culinary event for literacy taking place on Wednesday, May 22nd at the McMillan Event Center, 5.30 p.m. The best chefs in San Diego are preparing favorite dishes inspired by favorite books. Really? And That's yeah, so cool. It's awesome. it's awesome. That's a great theme. That is great. So you go to our website, literacysandio.org or eatdrinkread.com. And that money is a write-off, right? They yes, it is. Certainly it is. Um, actually, it's um, $65. And you get so much, you probably don't get the write-off, but you do help literacy yeah. programs all over San Diego County. Well, thank you so much for thank coming you. on Prime Time, and thank you for dedicating your life to helping oh, so children and, and adults who so much fun. need you. Thank you. Thank you.